Good morning, everybody. Pastor Rick here, Broadman Baptist Church, and today is the Broadman Word for November 30th, 2022. Hard to believe we're in the last uh, last day of November, heading right into uh, Christmas. We're in, uh, headed for the second week of Advent and all the excitement that surrounds those activities, and uh, what a wonderful time of the year, getting ready to accept or um, look forward to the coming of Christ and to look back and reflect on what's been done for us and just generally a time of joy and uniting and so uh, it's exciting. Today I want to talk to you about love and uniting. Uh, the title is The Great Commandment. It's from Matthew uh, 22, uh, 37 and 38. Uh, I'll read it says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and most important commandment. So we can see then that everything in our relationship with God is based on love. His love for us to the point where he sacrificed Jesus Christ on our behalf. And then in return our love for him. That wholehearted love for God is our first and our greatest commandment. It is the uh, beginning point. It is the relationship with God that is foundational. Everything God wants to do for you in your life and use you for in the kingdom is all based on that foundational love that we're to have for uh, God. And in that's in response to God's love for us and what he's done. So, um, establishing a faith relationship then with God through Jesus Christ is the critical starting point. Uh, but maintaining that relationship, keeping that relationship strong, as it is the first and greatest commandment, it's the most important thing to love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. Um, keeping that laser focus on Jesus Christ and uh, our hope in him, our hope of heaven, our uh, revelation of the promises of God, the provisions of God in our own life, and, you know, revealing that to folks who are in the darkness are all so foundational, so critical to keeping the, keeping our eyes on the horizon, so to speak, our ultimate destination, which is heaven, where God is, uh, keeping our focus on God uh, through our work here uh, and our displaying of the love of Jesus Christ to those here who need to see it, those who don't have the light of Christ in them yet, who don't have the Holy Spirit yet, who are still living in the world and are going to be subject to the world's um, penalties that focus, that amount of focus is required and it's all based on the faith relationship from God with God uh, through Jesus Christ based on love. Sometimes things happen to people along their way and in their life and we end up with those that have departed um, from their first love and so um, the only thing that can be done then is when we encounter those folks is to show them uh, that Christ is still there. Christ still wants that relationship. Uh, God's hand has not been retracted from them. Um, from the perspective of an analogy, it would be like going back to the beginning. Uh, we call it a repent repentance or repenting which simply is a, a term that means go a different direction or to turn around. So for those who have departed from Christ as their first love, they need to turn around and go back to the beginning. They need to reestablish that relationship, start over, go back to the starting point, and have a personal repentance, a moment of, of repenting, where they've decided that, hey, this other way is not working. I need to get back with Jesus. So they have to remove the idols that took them away from Christ in the first place. And God demonstrated his great love for his people 
when Christ died for us, and so they need to then refresh those feelings of love and return them to God uh, when God's people grasp this reality, when they understand the criticalness, the critical nature, the, the tertiary nature of understanding the beginning and why it began, meaning your relationship with God, clinging to that and maintaining that are all going to be necessary and it's going to be um, critical to your fulfilled walk. So after having come back to the beginning, removing idols, reflecting on the original relationship, understanding that the starting point um, is just that a starting point. We need to move on from there with the same focus that we began and would respond then with a wholehearted love for Christ. Then out of um, their love for him, they will make the necessary adjustments to obey. It's not some strict set of rules to keep you from doing things or to keep you from having fun or to keep you from having any sort of a, a life that you might imagine. It's a love relationship. It is designed to fulfill, uphold, support, and ultimately bring you into the presence of Christ. So making the adjustments to obey the will of God for your life is just a response to the love. It's your love for his love. And it's a desire to fulfill the design and purposes for which we have been created and for which God redeemed us for, the reason he redeemed us, so that we could come before him righteous and that we could have a relationship with him um, like we would want to have. However, the world in its circumstances can sometimes get in the way. So let's go about having a meaningful relationship. Let's go about having that all in, dedicated, focused, purposeful relationship with Christ that can then be effective in the lives of others because they see the love of Christ in you. Spend time in fellowship with God this week. Remember that Christ has done so much for you, and then examine yourself and your faith to see if there's any blocks or idols that need to be removed that are keeping you from the kind of relationship with God you need, the kind of beginning, original, tertiary relationship, the starting point, the origin, if you will, uh, that kind of relationship. What's in the way? and then systematically go about removing those things so that you can move forward in the kingdom and that you can have the kind of fulfilled life, the joy that comes with that fulfilled life because you're living out the will of God. Hey, listen, I love you. You take care. I'll talk to you next time.